amazing. We're up to chapter 18 already. Sorry this will be a short episode. Uh, just a couple things that I've completed. So let's get right into the build. This is actually for the ropes for the anchors that will be positioned up here. So I'm going to go ahead and drill holes all the way through. If you're interested, this bit was one eighth of an inch. So I'll be able to slide this through. And then this will come out and attach the anchor. Then I'll clip it off and then this other piece will go on the other side. And it comes over here. I'll show that when it's complete. But I think I'm going to go with this very thick, a little off color. I may um, weather this some. Um, coffee uh, would stain that a nice worn looking color. What I've done now, these are the dead eyes that the ropes go around and then some go through. I've stained them by soaking them and stain a little bit, but I don't want the stain to clog up the holes. So what I do is I take an air compressor, put it on low air pressure, hold that with tweezers, and blow any of the liquid out of those holes. Then wipe off the stain. It's time consuming, but it'll make it a lot less uh, laborsome to get the thread to go through those holes. You can see how these dead eyes turned out. Yeah, let's see if I can get one. I don't know if you, so you can I've also done some blocks. They're even tinier. I ordered these separate so they they might be too small for this particular model. So it worked well for that too. So let me show you what I'm making with those. There's the dead eye. I'm circling it with brass. Then this part will actually get nailed to the side of the ship. So I need to make, I believe, 36 of these. They're a little time consuming, but I think in the long run it'll look very nice. So let me show you what those are for. These dead eyes will be mounted on the side of the ship, and this is the piece. They will be mounted flush with that. If you can see that, well, and ropes, three ropes will go up from the dead eye. The underneath part will be slanted and bent towards the ship and will nail in. So I'll show you that when I make it. Then there is a cover piece that goes over those little openings. So make sure you don't throw that away. Let me show you how I'm making these. Just so happens that this this is like a nail pusher or pin pusher tool. It happens to be about the size that I need. So what I've been doing is wrapping this around pretty much as tight as I can get it. Okay, then I slide it off. a little bit spare. Then I take one of the dead eyes, put it inside that circle, and then shape it to fit. And I do that just by kind of crimping it just a little bit. Let me go ahead and cut this off so it's easier to work with. So I give myself probably an inch and a half extra. Now I'm just kind of bending that and there's a little groove in that dead eye that that brass will fit into. And the brass I have could be just a tiny bit thinner. but And for my needs I want it to be, it needs to be flat like that and straight up. So I've got the straight up. Now how do I flatten this to get a hole in it? What I've been making these is and this is on the centimeter and millimeter side. 
and I found if I cut it right at two, now that's a little more than two because I pounded it out with a hammer, but that's what I've been doing. So I take this and from the edge of the dead eye wood part, now I cut it right at the two. Now how to get that flattened part. Pretty simple really. This is a uh, an old vise and it has a little like an anvil part on it. And I'll make sure that it's flat. And then just tap it and flatten it out. And then I take a sharp pointed finish nail is what I've been using. I have to change them out pretty quick because the tip once it gets a little dull it won't work and then put a little dimple in that. Now with the hand drill I can finish by drilling out that little dimple so it gives me a pre-made hole for the nail. The type nail I'm going to use I picked up at Menards and these are brass plated wire brads. It says half inch. The one that is unique on this particular style compared to what came with the kit is the head is much much smaller I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not it has a very tiny um, nail head on it so you can see the one I picked up at Menards has a real small nail head and it, the diameter of the nail itself is also smaller. I've gotten a start on these and the part is 2 and 2A two and they come off of lowercase d as in David. It's the same sheet that has a lot of the parts for the dinghies and they're two through five, so it starts with two, three, and then the rest will go uh, back in here. Placement could be a couple different places. I decided to put it below this um, plank that is um, sticking out a little bit, give it more support. But I've seen it with it actually on that plank also. So your choice depends how it fits. Same thing with, you know, I made these brass supports. You can, I think you can buy similar things. The piece that is important that you don't misplace because it looks like part of the cutout because once you put these pieces in place then this covers up that edge. And so even though this little piece looks like scrap it fits right back in there. Now I had to also cut out a little bit more because I used that those brass uh, ro rods or brass wire. I've completed a couple of these and I went ahead and aged the brass so it would look a little better on the ship itself, at least on the lower portions. There will be two more smaller sections that I'll complete later. But I'm going to be unavailable for about three weeks so this will be the last segment until I get back. I hope that this video series is helping someone out there like me that has never built one of these before. Purchase this particular one that does not have very good instructions. And I've been able to locate photographs and other short video clips that show different parts of the ship. And so far I've been able to put it together. So I hope it's helping. I'm enjoying the build regardless of how difficult and time consuming it can be.